Hey guys, my name is Albisto and I'm here to help you get fit. Today I'm gonna show you guys an easy and delicious chicken meal that I found on the internet that my family really loves. All right, let's get started. Here are the ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe. You're gonna need some cilantro, fresh cilantro. You're gonna need some black beans. You're gonna need sweet corn. You're gonna need extra virgin olive oil. You're gonna need salt and pepper. You need some McCormick taco seasoning mix. You're gonna need some paste pecan, chunky salsa picante medium. This is the chunky one. This is the one that makes this meal taste a lot better. We're gonna do some chopped bell peppers. You need red, green, orange, and yellow or whatever you have at home. I told you it's gonna be easy, so that's why we have it already chopped up. Here's the chicken breast that we're gonna use. You're gonna need three chicken breasts for this meal, which are anywhere between four to six ounces. And these are delicious rice, my favorite type of rice, the rice that I get from Trader Joe's, and later on I'll tell you why I love this rice. All right, so let's put it all together, okay? First thing you're gonna need to do is, you have your glass container, move your stuff out of the way, have some space, you're gonna grab your chicken, here we go, we have one, it's a small piece, so we can use two of those, because it's a small piece, two, and three, those are two small pieces, and this is a big piece. So let's go ahead and use one more piece. That way we have, it's like so having three big chicken breasts, all right? Perfect, so then we have our, our, our chicken breast. I do recommend chicken breast for this meal, okay? Then you're gonna need your bell peppers. Like I told you, the EV already chopped up bell peppers that I bought at Vons. Whatever, if you wanna chop up your own bell pepper, great. And if you wanna have it already chopped up, awesome. So what I do is, I spread it on each side evenly. Here's one side, here's another side. Okay, we're gonna spread it out a little bit. And then from there, we're gonna grab the salt. We're gonna get salt all over everything. Be generous to your salt. Salt's really good for you. Okay, then we're gonna grab the pepper. I like this one because it feels like it's a little more fresh instead of using just the regular bottle. You put it all over it, okay? Don't be little, you gotta put it just enough to make sure you got it all over everything. Okay, next we're gonna put the olive oil. Okay, I'm using this big bottle. So we're gonna just be, it's like we're drizzling it on top. Olive oil is one of the best fats there is. It's very good for your joints. So don't be afraid of, of eating olive oil. Okay, now once we've done that, now we're gonna kind of mix it all. Okay, right here we're gonna kind of just mix it. Mix it all on top of there. Okay, let me put this one on, on the very bottom of that. That way we can put some seasoning on top of that one. Okay, let me grab some paper towels. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, once we have all that seasoning, then we're gonna put the uh, taco seasoning mix on top of the chicken breast. And make sure you put enough on there, okay guys? And it's not just, I used to only put it on one side, but Dominique really likes it on both sides. So make sure you put it on both sides of the chicken breast, not just one side. That way when you're eating it, <clears throat> you have seasoning on both sides of your chicken. Okay, there we go. Flip each and every one of them. It's, it gets a little bit messy in there, but it's okay. All right, there we go. Okay, great, now we have all that on top of it. Now we have all the seasonings on top of there, the salt, the pepper, okay? And then the final thing that we're gonna put on there, this is what really makes it taste really good, is the salsa chunky paste on. You wanna shake it up really good. And you wanna make sure you put just enough on all of them. Here we go, this is, the, this is what makes the chicken taste very, very nice and um, not so dry. Okay, it keeps it from drying out the chicken. You're gonna make sure you put enough on there Okay, now once we've put all the paste picante on there, we're gonna grab our, our fork and kind of spread it on top. That way you get every corner there, like this. Okay, and while I was prepping all the food, I was getting everything together, I heated up the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, then you're gonna put the chicken inside there for 30 minutes and let it cook. Stay tuned for the finishing product. All right, guys, our chicken is done. Let's take it out. Make sure you have some mint so you don't burn your hands. Okay, be careful when you take it out because it's extremely hot in there. 
I know. We're gonna leave it here for five minutes because we gotta let the chicken cool down. That way all the juices set in, okay? Now, while we're doing that, if you want perfect fluffy rice every time, I recommend Trader Joe's. Jasmine rice is the one that we love. It's amazing, it tastes great. Let's put it in the microwave for three minutes <clears throat> with the red lines up. Mm, and you're gonna perfect rice. All right, so while we were uh, heating up the chicken, we heated up our corn and our black beans. We chopped up the cilantro. We have our plates ready to go. Stay tuned for the rest of the meal. All right, guys, the three minute rice is done. Let's take it out. All right, now when we cut it, I always make sure that we use scissors because it's hot, so you don't want to burn yourself in the steam, okay? All right, so let's get our plate. Now, the first thing that goes on the plate is the rice, because that's where the, all the uh, juices are absorbed, is on the rice. Okay, so we're gonna kind of flatten it out. That would make some space for it, like this. And kind of keep it, keep it looking nice. Make it like a nice little circle like that. All right, so now we're gonna go into cutting the chicken breast. So now that it's, now that we've let the uh, chicken breast sit and cool down for a little bit and the juices are all, Mixed in now. Where stop? She's hungry. All right, so what we're gonna do is remember I cut it into small piece, smaller pieces. That way nobody chokes on them. Okay. There we go. All right, we're gonna put those pieces over the chicken, nice and even as much as we can. Okay. This was the kind of a bigger chicken breast. I'm probably gonna use half or maybe a little bit more than half. Okay. okay, so remember, now once we put all the chicken on there, we wanna make sure that we grab, the, we wanna get the bell peppers, okay, and put it over. That way it gets the, it gets the, the rice and the chicken more juices. Because the goal is to keep the the chicken as moist as possible. Let's do one more. That's where the flavor's at. Okay, great. Now we have that done. Now we're going to come over here. We have the black beans and the corn. We're going to mix that up really good. We're going to put the black beans on one side. Okay, there we go with our black beans. We're going to put the corn on the other side. Good, now that we have the corn and we have the beans in there, we're gonna grab the cilantro. The cilantro and the lime are extremely important for this meal. It's what really brings up the flavors in this meal, okay? So I'm gonna put it over the chicken, just like that. Push a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna grab our lime, put it into our lime squeezer. Pour it over it. Give that nice flavor to really pop up. And you can put as much lime as you'd like, whatever you prefer. And there you go. There is your Santa Fe chicken meal with beans, corn, cilantro, white rice. I hope you enjoy.